Okay, we're going to move through a full practice, which means that you get forward folds, some back bending, inversions, strength, twists, and all the good yummy stuff that makes a full practice. We'll start this practice in child's pose. So go ahead and find your variation of child's pose. Make sure your head is supported and we'll stay here for about five breaths. And your next inhale, go ahead and lift the head and come up into tabletop. If your knees are wide, bring them narrow, tuck the toes and find your downward facing dog. Hi, Zeus. Staying here for five breaths. On your inhale, lift the head, shift forward to plank, adjust your hands and feet as you need. Stay for about two more breaths. And we'll move into our first vinyasa. Take an inhale here. Exhale, lower down, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, or up dog. Exhale, press it back to your downward facing dog. On your next inhale, the right leg floats up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, make it a twist, bending that top knee. We're going to flip our dog into wild thing. This is an option. You can stay in the three-legged dog if you prefer. So the top foot falls behind, right hand releases, shift the hips and the heart to the ceiling. We'll stay for about three breaths. Uh, gently bring it back, coming into your three-legged dog. And exhale, thigh to the chest, step it through, find your warrior one. Back heel rotates down and in, root down through the legs, inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, settle into your warrior one. From here, we'll take eagle arms. So they come out to the side, we'll take the left underneath the right. Make sure you cross above the elbows, flip and wrap. If this isn't accessible, then just give a nice hug instead. One more breath. From here, we're gonna shift our weight forward to come into full eagle pose. Now bend the knees a little bit more, push with that back foot, find your balance on the right foot, bending the knee. Now when you're ready, cross the left thigh around, either touch the toes to the ground or wrap them around the ankle, whatever's accessible. From here, gently untangle the arms first, then the legs, step it back, find your warrior two. Settle into that warrior two. Make sure the alignment pieces are, to, are set up right for your body. Take another inhale here. Straighten the leg. Exhale, triangle pose. Top arm can go where you'd like it to go, where it needs to go for your body. One more breath. On your inhale, come all the way up through vertical. Exhale, bend the knee, warrior two. Take another inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. Find your way back to plank. Either take a vinyasa or press it back to downward facing dog. Moving on to our second side, inhale the left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open the hips. so you have a little twist here. And on your next breath, you can flip it into well thing if you choose. Coming into that nice back bend, extending the arm. If you have a dog there, give him a nice pet. Hi, Zeus. <laughs> From here, flip it back, find your three-legged dog. Exhale, step it through. I love you too, Zeus. Find your warrior one. Inhale as you rise up. Exhale, settling in.
From here, bring the arms into eagle. This time the right comes underneath the left. Flip and wrap. Make sure those elbows are in line with the shoulders. If you need to modify, then just hug instead. Shifting the weight forward into that left foot. Keep that left leg bent and soft and find full eagle. Crossing the inner thigh, either touch the toes to the ground or wrap around the ankle. From here, untangle the arms. Gently untangle the legs. Find your way back to warrior two. We'll stay here for about three breaths. Moving now into triangle pose. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, fold into your triangle pose. Top arm can stay lifted or go where you need it so the shoulder's happy. Inhale, come all the way up through vertical. Exhale, bend the knee, find your warrior two. Take another inhale here. Exhale, cartwheel the arms down to the mat. Find your way to your plank. Take a vinyasa or just press it back to down dog or child's pose. Good. From here, we'll move into dolphin pose. So whichever position you're in right now, come onto hands and knees. Bring the forearms down, fingertips touch the elbows. Interlace the fingers. Make sure that there is space between the wrists, the palms of the hands. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, and shift into your dolphin. Walking the toes forward so that the hips stack over the shoulders as best you can. And we'll stay here for five breaths. If at any point this becomes uncomfortable, you get dizzy or your shoulders hurt, just come into child's pose instead. Take one more full inhale, then exhale, gently walk the feet back, find child's pose. Arms can go wherever you'd like them to go for this child's pose. On your inhale, gently roll up through the spine. Exhale where you need, and we'll come into a seated position. So you can just sweep those legs out in front. So sitting up nice and tall, we're going to take this into a twist. So take your right hand, either bring it to your waist or bring it behind your back. Inhale the left arm up, root your heels down. Exhale, twist from the waist so that the hips don't shift, and then fold forward. Let the left hand connect to the right leg wherever it makes sense to you. And the left leg is still active here, so keep the toes lifted and the heel pressing down. On your inhale, come all the way up through center. Exhale, release the arms. We'll take the other side. Left hand comes to the waist or behind the back. Inhale, the opposite arm up. Exhale, twist from the waist and then fold. Hand connects to the left leg or foot. Actively keep that belly pulling up and in so that you can twist. Inhale, bring it back through center. Exhale, gently release. Good. Go ahead and scoot your tail forward a little bit. We're going to take boat pose and we're moving forward so you have enough space on the mat to lay down afterwards. So bringing your weight past the tail onto your sacrum, the flat portion of your pelvis, lengthening the spine from there, opening the shoulders and the chest and letting the legs float to a height that you can maintain for a few breaths. Hands can either connect for a little support or you can extend them out, whatever feels better for you. But from here, we're gonna roll down through the spine. Use your abdominals to control. Breathe as you do this. Exhaling helps to contract the abdominals. And once you come down, let the head rest back. You can hug the knees into the chest. And from here, we'll take happy baby. So bending the legs so that they're, they're roughly at 90 degrees, ankles flex as well. Outwardly rotate a little bit so that the knees come towards the armpits and bring the arms to the inside of your knees. Hold on to your feet, ankles, toes, whatever you might be able to reach. And enjoy the stretch through the lower back, the hips, the hamstrings, the inner thighs, or wherever else you might feel this. 
A little rock from side to side always feels nice as well. Good. Bring it back to center. Bottoms of the feet come together. Then let them come all the way to the mat for a moment in reclined bound angle. Arms can rest wherever they need to or want to. And then from here, when you're ready, let the legs extend out underneath you, finding your way into Shavasana. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'll be here in Shavasana for one minute. But if you do have more time, it's always nice to stay in Shavasana for at least five, if you can. But any amount of time is good so that the nervous system can settle down. So let your eyes close, let your body relax, and take rest. Start to deepen your breath. Find energy in your fingers, toes, wrists, and ankles, gradually waking the arms and the legs. I'll let the arms extend up over your head by your ears. You can walk the legs together underneath you and give yourself a nice long stretch. Hmm. And from here, hug the knees in towards your chest to give a gentle rock from side to side. Roll on to your right side, coming into fetal position. Bottom arm comes under your head as a pillow. And gently press yourself all the way up to seated. Take a moment here. You can bring one hand to your heart and one to your belly, or if you prefer prayer hands, either one is good. Just to check in with the breath, the body, and give a moment of gratitude something you're thankful for today. Have a beautiful day. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me. If you like the class, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And be sure to click the bell for email notifications when new videos are released. Let me know how you felt after doing this practice in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Also, if you have a request for a specific focus or tutorial, please ask in the comments below. Please share this video if you know someone who might enjoy it. Be well and remember to breathe. See you next time.